Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our staged fuel injection feature we're gonna be working with in our MoTeC ECU Manager software. So we're gonna be using this stage injection feature. If we have a vehicle that has really large injectors and has poor drivability, we might implement a stage injection and run our engine on a smaller set of primary injectors and then have a secondary set of larger injectors that can provide enough fuel flow rate to the engine so we can get the best of both worlds. So the engine can start, idle, drive on that smaller primary set of injectors and then phase into the larger set so again, we can accomplish both tasks of giving enough fuel and then having the good drivability and idle quality. Now, the other reason we might use this if we have a drag engine that simply cannot provide enough fuel from a single set of injectors, such as a 2200, we might add another set of injectors so that we can provide enough fuel flow rate for whatever the power we're making. This is gonna be especially true if you're on ethanol or methanol fuels. We have to provide a tremendous amount of fuel flow rate into the engine to be able to make the power we wanna make. So we're gonna be looking at how the stage injection feature works. It's very, very simple, but you have to understand how to program the most basic things so that it works correctly. So I'm gonna be walking you through all that in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we check it out. All right, let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our staged fuel injection feature with our MoTeC. So let's go ahead and connect to our MoTeC, get live here. Now setting this up is actually really, really simple in controlling two sets of injectors. Um, MoTeC, does some very, very simplistic math. And because this is a uh, time-based fuel injection model, it's going to be only looking at the injector pulse width and it scale that out very, very easily. Again, doing some quick math. We're gonna be entering a couple things in here to define it, setting a balance ratio table, and then we're gonna be going in and uh, seeing how this all works. So the first thing we're gonna do is click escape, jump into our adjust tree, click escape again. We're gonna toggle all the way down here to our general setup, hit enter, move down into our fuel, hit enter, and then move down here to our secondary setup. Now we set up all the normal primary injection features and functions in the setup in previous videos, and we set up the battery comp as well in those uh, previous videos, so we understand what this is all about. Now the secondary setup and the secondary battery comp is what we have to define properly in order to make this secondary injection work. So let's go into our secondary setup. Now the very first thing we find here is our secondary injection ratio. And this is going to be a really simple math of dividing our second secondary set of injector flow rate divided by our primary set of uh, uh, injector flow rate. Now, we haven't at this point entered any flow rate sizing into our MoTeC because this is a time-based fuel strategy. It's not going to be based on biometric efficiency. It's not going to convert fuel mass and into injector pulse width. So it's just going to only be an injector pulse width driven fuel model in this ECU. So at this point, we're gonna to have to just do this quick flow rate uh, uh, division or this ratio. So this particular case, I'm gonna assume that I have 1700 cc ID injectors on my primaries and 1700 cc ID injectors on my secondaries. So in this case, if I divide 1700 by 1700, it's gonna give you a value of 1.01. 1. So I'm gonna enter up here into my secondary injection ratio value of 